Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for you for October 2019. Love faves and fails videos, don't you? I know. <laughs> Just get to go over um, an entire month of content in one short little video. So if you don't tune into any other videos during the month, this is the one to watch because you get to see everything that I tried, everything that I tested, and how well it went. But of course, there are also things that you'll miss if you don't tune into every video. So I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and go ahead and like the video already if you like so far what the idea of the video is anyway. So anyway, let's get into the faves and fails. Let's start in makeup. I feel like I had an amazing makeup month in October, which is so rare for me. You know how like ridiculously picky I am about makeup. Plus, being 57, my skin is not perfect and things just don't sit on it well and, you know, it's a struggle to find good makeup. But I made a video where I tried all new makeup and, like, a miracle of miracles, I liked everything. And some of it has now, that it's been, like, two or three weeks since then, since I recorded it, I'm really, really loving it. So the thing that I was most excited about from that video, you guys, is this little tinted moisturizer. This is the Sephora House brand Sephora Collection. It's called their Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. I used this as my foundation in that Try On New Makeup video, and I was so impressed with this. To just like grab something off the shelf at Sephora that I had no expectations of, that really doesn't promise you the moon, um, to have it just work out so well and be like so awesome was such a shock. I think that's why I'm so high on this right now, but I really am. I'm wearing it again in today's video. Like number one thing straight out of shoot to get like a color match on the first try without buying 10 of them was amazing. So the color I'm wearing this in is 07 Linen. So if you tend to match me, that is gonna be a great match for you. And I know a lot of people don't really like a matte finish, but don't let the name fool you because this isn't really a matte finish, at least on me with, you know, how I always wear sunscreen under everything. And I feel like the luminosity from the sunscreen definitely does come through, especially something sheer like this. But what was so like magical and special about this is that it really evens out your skin tone beautifully, but yet it doesn't look like makeup sitting on the surface of your skin. It was practically undetectable to wear, but it still had this really pretty satin skin-like finish to it. It was just so beautiful. I just couldn't even believe it. It was beautiful up close. It was beautiful far away. It was beautiful at the end of the day and didn't settle into wrinkles didn't settle into pores. If you want to take a look at how this performed in the video, I'll link that video right up here so you can see how everything performed. It was really an amazing makeup day. I was like, wow, what happened? I've died and gone to heaven. This never happens to me. Also in foundation this month, I did do two foundation Fridays. One was on the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. This I really liked a lot and I gotta say, it's kind of like this in that it's really sheer, yet pigmented, yet sort of luminous. Um, I think I like this one better because this one doesn't have any sunscreen, this one doesn't have SD alcohol, and this one doesn't have fragrance. This guy does contain sunscreen, but even though it says it's a broad spectrum SPF 50, it's not full broad spectrum. It does screen UVB and UVA 2, but not UVA 1. And for me, I want screening from the entire UVA spectrum. You guys know that you don't use enough of a foundation or a tinted moisturizer to have it be your sunscreen, so always wear a sunscreen underneath. But unlike this guy, this is full of SD alcohol, denatured alcohol, which can be drying for older skin or any skin, really. It depends on how sensitive your skin is and how dry it is. This didn't feel drying though, but it is the fourth ingredient on the label. Between the two of these, this is by far my favorite. The other foundation that I tested in October was the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. This was a big bust on me. I loved it when I first put it on. I thought it had the most beautiful, you know, for like a fairly full coverage foundation, the most beautiful like satin skin-like finish. It looked great. I felt like it was even a little bit smoothing. Within like two hours though, it was a hot mess. Did not look good on my skin anymore. It was looking waxy. It was looking cakey. It was looking like super shiny, accentuating pores and texture. So it was like the opposite of self-refreshing. You know, I can't have something that wears for only two to three hours looking good. I got more going on than that. So that sadly for me was a fail. And again, we'll link 
the full reviews up here for both those guys. More makeup faves. The um, Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I'm really loving this. I haven't used anything else. This is about to be empty, but I just ordered a full-size replacement for it in Friday's Sephora VIB sale. If you're watching this on November 5th, the day that I post it, uh, the VIB sale is still going on until the 11th, so I'll link that video right here too so you can see all my top picks and recommendations for the Sephora holiday bonus event. Right now it's still rouge only for 20% off, and then if you're VIB or insider, your sale is starting on the 7th, so you can go ahead and get your 15 or 10% off on things that they sell at Sephora, like this Charlotte Tilbury mascara, which, oh my gosh, love at first use. The thing that I was most impressed with was the length on my lashes and how just big and bold it made them look. My lashes just look beautiful and lifted and full and gorgeous, and I love it. Okay, a couple other things from that video that were faves were the Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. This is the cutest little eyeliner, and I love the applicator on it. He just has a little kitty cat face on there, and this is the liquid eyeliner. And over the summer, I had really gotten away from wearing liquid eyeliner. I just couldn't apply it right. I don't know what the deal was with me or my eyes or something. I just... It just wasn't working for me and so I had given up on wearing liquid eyeliner and doing like my little mini cat wing up there which I love and I really didn't want it to be like oh no I turned 57 I've reached the point where I can't wear my little wing anymore because you know I hate being limited by my age <laughs> and I know it'll happen but <laughs> I fight against it I really want to do what I want to do and I don't care how old I am I just want to wear what I want to wear you know, hair, clothes, makeup. I don't think age is any reason to limit anyone. But anyway, I thought, uh-oh, it's just not working anymore. And then I tried this a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, yes, my little wing liner is back. And I don't know if it's just this little super precise felt tip brush. It doesn't wiggle around much. It just enables me to get the perfect little wing. And so I love it. So if you've given up on your wing, maybe give that a try. I also tried a new highlighter and a new blush, and I really love these. I think the blush especially is really great for more mature people uh, <laughs> who don't want to buy an extra highlighter product because it's a blush that has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it doesn't have any glitter chunks in it, and it is the most beautiful color. It does come in a few different colors. This one is called Matchmaker. This one is just so sheer that you cannot make a mistake with it. All right, let me tell you the name of the nameless blush. It is the Ciate Glow 2 Illuminating Blush, and so this product is giving you your blush and your highlighter all in one. And I actually have have another color because I love it so much, Summer Love, which is more of a peachy apricot pink in my cart at Sephora to buy in the sale. So anyway, hoping to get another one of those. And then the highlighter, because of course, you know, I can't just use blush with highlighter. I have to put a highlighter on top of it, is from Jouer. And this is their powder highlighter. Comes in a few different colors. The one I got it in is Rose Quartz. So there's that in Rose Quartz. It is so, so pretty doesn't look super white or super gold or super pink. It's just like a really kind of almost a flesh tone neutral. So really loving that highlighter. Another thing that I tried for the first time in that new makeup video were the Wayne Goss brushes. And boy, talk about love at first use. These are pretty amazing little brushes. Now, I know I always say if you're an older person, blah, 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 but you know what? The struggle is real. We have our struggles. You are trying to put on your eyeshadow and the brushes are shaped like... Eyeshadow brushes in general are shaped like blobs, like this. What I love about the Wayne Goss brushes is that they're all shaped with a tapered end. And my gosh, if that does not help you place your eyeshadow exactly where you want it, and not end up with it going places that you don't want it. All of them, they're just so beautiful, but this guy, the number 17 brush for deep in the crease, oh my goodness, this is like the game changer. This is a $135 brush set, so it costs a pretty penny. Are there less expensive brushes that you could kind of recreate this set by buying individual brushes? 
I don't know, it would probably cost you about the same because one of my very favorite brushes is the MAC 221 brush. This one is about $20, $25 on its own, I think. That's going to be most comparable to the Wayne Goss number 19 brush. Okay, but as you can see, it still doesn't give you that point, that precision that the Wayne Goss does. You know, if you're looking for a beautiful high-end, like next level brush set to really bump up your eyeshadow if you haven't been able to get it quite right, could be the brushes. If you can afford them, maybe give them a try. They'll be linked in the information box below the video along with everything else. All right, moving on to skincare, something that I don't have down here with me that I wanted to mention as a fave is my new mini fridge. So I did my skincare routine videos in early October. I had a separate morning routine video and a night routine video. And over the summer, I had purchased one of those little mini fridges. Let me just bring in some footage of it. This thing is so stinking cute and it's just sitting up in my bathroom, keeping all my skincare nice and fresh and making my vitamin C serum last longer and my retinol things last longer but it is mini like a lot of people ask me if I keep all my skincare in there I'm like no it really is not big enough for that so I put in the things that tend to oxidize or that are less stable than other things so like your standard moisturizing cream is perfectly stable it's really more the antioxidants the retinoids that are fairly unstable molecules and they benefit from refrigeration plus it's dark in there which also helps it does have a shelf that goes in there but i took the shelf out because some of my serums are too tall and i didn't really have anything that fit on the shelf so do you 100 percent need a mini fridge you know probably not do you want one yeah, you kind of do. It's really cute. You keep your stuff in that. And the best part is if you are a hot and flashy lady, putting on those cold serums in the morning. Oh, so cooling, so lovely, the feel of it. Mm. If you are into jade rollers or masking, you keep your masks in there and your jade roller, and then you have nice cooling things to put on your puffy eye bags in the morning. Anyway, loving the mini fridge. There's a new brand at uh, Target, I believe it was, called Versed Skin Care. These weren't in my skincare routine because I didn't buy them yet, but I picked out a couple things from the brand that I wanted to try that, you know, could fit into my skincare routine. And you know what? I like these both. One is the on the Rise Firming Serum. This is a peptide blend with resveratrol. And the other one is their Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. So the Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream has squalane, aloe, green tea, leaf extract, jojoba seed oil, uh, wheat germ oil, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin. So a nice little moisturizer in a really lightweight vehicle. This guy has glycerin, resveratrol, it's also got uh, palmitol tripeptide 1 and palmitol tetrapeptide 7. It has got vitamin E and it's also got hyaluronic acid. So this is a great little formula as well and I've really enjoyed using this. So you could swap this in to the evening skincare routine in the position that I've been using the May Love. If you're looking for something less expensive, I mean it's not a huge price difference, about $10. The gel cream is $14.99. The resveratrol serum is $19.99. So pretty good price points. This is a full fluid ounce and this is two fluid ounces. This brand though is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and dye-free, all things that we like. They also contain no parabens, no silicones, no sulfates, SLSs or SLESs, no formaldehyde, no petroleum and no mineral oil. This one I swapped in where my other green tea thing was, which that one was a toner. So if I don't use the toner, I would put this on after, or I've been using it in the morning as a really lightweight um, moisturizer. Overall, I think it's a good line. It's available at Target, so definitely worth checking out the Versed skincare line. Another fave is my new lash. This is my lash growth serum. I bought this in the Nordstrom sale and I had never used new lash before. I had used Revitalash, I had used Rapid Lash, I had used Prescription Latisse. They all work. In the beginning of September, I was like, yeah, mm, not sure. Of course, these take a couple of months to start working. Then all of a sudden, mid-October, boom, 
the lashes like went into overdrive and started growing again and so now I feel like my lashes are back so yeah that works as well as the other things that I've tried so you know they just kind of all work for me okay now on to the fails I tried the it cosmetics lash blowout mascara I didn't love this <laughs> it's it's kind of gimmicky I'm kind of surprised I mean I it's a thing with dry bar and I get it but I don't know I didn't like it I felt like it chipped I felt like it flaked I felt like it smudged it didn't really do much for my lashes was not was not a lovey thing with me but yeah just did not love so a fail from the miraculous video was the thrive cosmetics um what is this called filtered effect soft focus hd setting powder in translucent matte i tried this in the video as an under eye setting powder and while i thought it looked nice to start within about 10 minutes my under eyes were no longer matte looking and you know i love a nice matte under eye because that's what keeps them looking smooth if you have any kind of puffiness or any eye bags what keeps that looking smooth is matte powder that stays matte and the one that does that the best is the it cosmetics bye bye pores powder so didn't love that okay now in my skincare routine i had recommended the CeraVe skin renewing night cream you know i really hadn't been using this over the summer this is more of like my heavy duty winter moisturizer that i use and i love it because it's got the ceramides in it and um it's just a really great thick greasy moisturizer you wouldn't want to use it during the day at all and i never had a problem with it but the heat just came on like earlier this month and the air is drier and so i went to put this on a couple nights and this has started burning my skin as well like what the heck is going on with CeraVe? their products have always been so mild and so gentle and i feel like since they were acquired by l'oreal is it like psychosomatic it's things i try from them i put them on and my skin just starts stinging and i'm like what the heck is going on so the cream that i would recommend in place of that is the olay regenerist night recovery cream this is the fragrance free version this doesn't have the ceramides but it does have niacinamide and it does have a couple of peptides and it's a really nice hydrating cream it's not as like greasy as this one but it doesn't burn my skin either. It's really soothing to put on and I love using it. So that's everything in makeup and skincare. Let's move on to clothes, shoes, and accessories. I did two fashion videos this month. One was a Target haul and another one was a Nordstrom haul. One of my favorite things that I got from Nordstrom was this dress and this necklace. Let me just talk about the necklace first. This is so beautiful. I just love the thing. And I think it's gonna be like, my holiday necklace this year i love the y necklace with these big like cubic zirconias on it and it just hangs down and it is the prettiest necklace isn't it just gorgeous i just love it and then the dress oh my gosh this dress is so pretty it's just a super cozy sweater dress it's really soft i love the crisscross in the front it's really secure like it doesn't have a snap or anything so it's not awkward but it's also not going anywhere it's got a little bit of a dolman sleeve and it came in a couple of different colors just a really fun all occasion dress that you can wear just about anywhere if you want to dress it up i found the most beautiful shoe Shoes. oh my gosh at Nordstrom these are gorgeous I feel like these are the shoes that I've kind of been waiting for forever because the heel isn't too high but yet they are just so stunningly beautiful and they have this little platform on the front which also cuts down the heel height so they're very comfortable and I like this elastic ankle strap the footbed is padded on these and they're just so well made like the platform isn't just glued on it's all stitched together I don't know if you can see this you'll buy them and wear them for years and years and years to come because they're super high quality and they're not going to go out of style. I had them on with work pants in the Nordstrom Hall. They look great. They look great with the dress as well. And then the other thing from the Nordstrom Hall that was one of my favorites were these black coated snake print jeans. So it's kind of like a glossy and matte snake print. These are a high-waisted skinny jean and so they look and fit so great. These weren't too expensive. They're the cut from the cloth brand, which is one of my favorite brands of jeans from Nordstrom because they fit so well. They're about an $89 price point, but you know, if that's a little bit too rich for your blood, I also found a really great pair of coated jeans at Target for like $25. So these are the universal thread jeans, and this is a black coated jean, and they don't have the snake print on them. They're just a plain 
black coated jeans so they'll give you kind of a leather look. I gotta say between the two though the ones with the snake print are my faves. They're just a little bit softer feeling more fabric like. Like these the coating is really on there and you can feel it but I mean they're both great jeans. They both fit great. And then the top seller the thing that you guys bought like crazy from the Target video was the jacket. This blazer. This is a gorgeous blazer. It fits so well and I couldn't believe the price point on it. $35 for an amazing blazer. It's a one button blazer with um, working pockets. It's fully lined. It has uh, really, I mean like the quality on this thing. Look at the detail on this inside pocket. I mean isn't that nice? That is like a blazer that you would find at Nordstrom. I gotta say $35 at Target. Really amazing blazer. Let me just pop it on here over the dress Let's see what a great fitting blazer this is. Isn't this just so nice looking? Okay, doesn't really go with the dress. <laughs> what I had put with the dress was this awesome faux leather moto jacket, which unfortunately sold out like that. Um, let me just check and see if it's back online. Ah, you guys, I just checked on the jacket and it's back in stock. It looks so great with this dress. Look how cute. It's got this little peplum. It fits really nicely. It's just the cutest faux leather jacket. It doesn't have like a big obnoxious collar, but look how pretty that is even when you have it zipped. And then it's just got all the little zipper details and everything and the faux leather is nice. So yeah, just a great little jacket. All right, you guys. So that is everything for my faves and fails for October of 2019. As always, I thank Thank you so much for your time and really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye bye.